And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage in the blue corner from Serbia. So back to the grapple game now, fight number eight, Alexander Jankovic from Serbia. On a four fight win streak, on a rematch tonight against Bojan Kosedna, replaying the fight in Pula, which Jankovic won via opponent injury. Member of fight company, alongside uh, names like Vaso Bakocevic, Alexander the Joker Illich, Savo Lazic, there's only one tactic here to finish his opponent. No decision wins on his CV. All fights finished within the distance. Don't blink. The KO, TKO, never far away. Yeah, very interesting to see this one as an actual rematch. And he was on a three-fight run. All wild knockout victories. Prior to that, had been a six-fight slump. Now, we didn't get the definitive ending tonight. We did. Jankovic, geared up. And now, please welcome to the cage in the red corner from Ljubljana, Slovenia. Bojan Selva Kosadna. Bojan Kosedna, 12 and 15 in FNC, 0 and 1. Uh, it looks like he's coming into a little bit of his own intro. So, regional MMA legend fought everywhere from Europe. Russia, Japan, back in the cage after he broke the thumb in Pula against his opponent tonight here, Jankovic. He said he had to withdraw, comes with experience in bare knuckle and no rules fights. His pro MMA debut 16 years ago. His nickname Zelva, which translated means turtle. I'll leave you to work that one out. I will say one thing though, he'd have beat me before he ever got in the cage in that match. A lot of memorable moments from this guy throughout the years, and there really isn't a lot he hasn't seen. We've seen him in BKB, we've seen him in social media confrontations, the lot. But you have to ask yourself, when you went out there and you had the fight happen the way it did with such a kind of freak injury, it plays in your mind a little bit, right? Especially when you're a showman like this guy. So I'm very curious to see what level of focus he brings tonight and how the training has benefited him to go out there and put a defini definitive ending on this thing, on this rivalry, right? Because quite clearly, it wasn't what either of the guys wanted to happen. He's got to win. Well, hometown boy, hometown crowd. He's from Ljubljana in Slovenia. Card packed with Slovenian fighters, as you would imagine. FNC just bringing thrills and spills here. I mean, we've had KOs, stoppages, tap outs. It's all gone on. It continues. This is our eighth fight. Bojan Alexander Kosenda! Forever to be known as Buya Boyan. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this MMA rules bout takes place in the minus 77 kilogram world to weight division and will be contested over three five minute rounds. Your referee in charge when the action gets underway, Mr. Franco Kleeman. Introducing to you firstly in the blue corner, 28 years of age and standing at 180 centimeters tall. He brings an extensive record, 29 fights with 16 wins and 12 losses and one draw. He's representing Fight Company Belgrade from Serbia. Please welcome Alexander Iakovic. And opposing him on the other side of the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He's 40 years of age, standing at 173 centimeters tall. He also brings an extensive record, 27 fights with 12 wins 
of 15 losses. He's representing MMA Ljubljana from Slovenia, where he's known as Selva. It's Bojan Kosetna. Both fighters to the center, please, for your final instructions. Guys, you know the rules. Listen to my comments all the time. Protect yourself all the time. Touch gloves. Step back. Three five-minute rounds. FNC MMA rules to be contested at welterweight. Those are the numbers. Obviously, the biggest one there is 40 plays 28. You've got to give Kosedna props for being in there. Here we go. Round one. Let's see how this plays out. He fights Southpaw the last time he injured his thumb. He's back in the game. He's had time to recover. How this goes, no one knows. Yeah, very intriguing. Two southpaws, so close stance. Oh, nice. Left hook counter. Yeah, that check hook there caught was, uh, um, Bojan Kosedna. He rocked him. He's left himself open for that. Good style, good clean stance. Kosedna, but he's getting tagged. Kosedna's got to go for the clinch here. That's my key. He could really cause Jankovic a lot of problems there. So still in the upright. Kosedna. Happy to kickbox so far. Looking fairly comfortable. Jankovic. Not stressed. Oh, spinning back kick. Ushida Mawashigeri. We like that. Kosedna on top form. Throws that in the mix. Jankovic has caught him twice with the counter left. Three times. The hometown crowd in support of Kosedna. On his toes, moving laterally, he's doing everything right, but he's getting caught, Kosedna, the low kick, that check hook, and uh, Southpaw starts not playing well for Kosedna here tonight, because Jankovic has got him marked, low kick, that check left hook, so, leisurely start so far, let's see what the rest of the bout brings. Yankovic is able to toy with him here, especially going in orthodox when it's open, and then he'll swap up, chamber it by bringing his right foot forward and then throw the left. He's hit him three times with that will. A little bit of showboating from Yankovic. Wants to draw Kosedna in. Look at the high kick. Comes from nowhere. Electrically fast, that was. Speed of lightning. Not looking to engage that quickly, Kosedna. Jankovic drops him with a left hand. It's a knockdown. Absolutely kisses canvas, Kosedna. And look at Jankovic. Doesn't look stressed by it, but Kosedna now on top. That was that left, Will. He was looking for it, looking for it. Beautiful timing. That's the problem. Jankovic in space, dangerous. Welcome to the house of fun. But Jankovic carrying an injury to the nose. Somehow, Kosedna has worked his way in and caused a bit of an upset there. That knows in a lot of trouble. And this is where Kosedna works. Look at him put the forearm in the cross face from that side control position. And too leisurely, Alexander Jankovic could pay the price here. Kosedna on this now like Velcro. Kosedna is doing a really nice job of just slowing the pace. Keep that on the hook. And by Andrek, I mean the fact that he's got his left arm really tight to the hip and then can move it up, almost grabbing the rear shoulder. Anything to flatten all four corners, both hips, both shoulders. Jankovic, worse for wear and tear, he's been royally roughed up on the ground. And uh, this is Kosedna's office. And he's looking to get some purchase on the arm here. Jankovic having to defend furiously. You've got to give it to Kosedna to go for a submission this early on. Trying to find anything that's available. He was thinking about going Americana. He's going north-south choke. Can't get it. Nice turtle here from Jankovic. Kosedna spinning to the back. Keep him riding. Heavy pressure here from Kosedna. Nice to see that sequence. Jankovic gets up to the upright. But he's had a tough time down on the mat. And Kosedna... Gets out of space and they touch gloves, and that's an acknowledgement, acknowledgement from Jankovic that uh, Kosedna didn't come to this unprepared. So, under a minute left in this first round, and Jankovic, well, looks to me to be a lone sailor on a very rough sea. 
It's been nice adaptations here from Kasednar. He's done the right things. He's adjusted. He got that takedown. Some bad reads on the feet, though. He was dropped very badly. And all from the same thing. He likes to slow the pace. He likes to readjust. And, uh, unusual style. Jankovic knows he's got to do something here. And he comes forward, Jankovic. Starts to bring the heat. Some kicks. Flying knee strike. They're going to have to clean him up in between rounds. But, uh, I think he surprised Jankovic that he came under so much pressure so early. But he might have just been a little too leisurely here. And he got hurt. They're going to have to work very hard. Unbelievable round. Such a strong round for Jankovic. Drifting quite clearly in his favor. And then a complete change of course. Let's take a look at it. Here we go. Left hand, left hand, left hand, all about the left hand. And a couple of times it was a counter, a couple of times he led. It was interesting to see he started to lead with confidence. But this is where it all changed. Kasednar just flattening him. Here he was thinking about trying to isolate that far side arm. Could have spun for an arm bar, then thought about the Americana. Nice to see him busy the whole way. I have no idea who won that round. Still dangerous towards the end there, Jankovic. But uh, the corner of Kusedna absolutely ramming in instructions. Good solid performance so far, I have to say, from Kusedna. He's managed the pace, he's thrown the curves. Jankovic may have just been a little overconfident. If they've cleaned him up now, let's see what he can do in this round. He's definitely got the stoppage power. But Kusedna got the experience. 40 years of age, still in the game. Props for that. Round two of a scheduled three. And obviously not enough rock. Oh, high kick. Beautiful. Jankovic, they've cleaned him up and he's back in the game. Jankovic has got to keep doing the dance here in the middle. I'm going to give him that round. Immediate impact scores higher. So I'm going to give him that round 10-9. But boy, was that a close round. So the confidence is back. I think the corner have said to him, you know, this looked a lot worse than it was, the damage, and he's back in there, and he is wild, isn't he? Like a Mustang with Wasabi up its rear end when he goes, he bucks. Sedna still dancing in and out, just tripping the pocket line. Fantastic. Difficult, difficult character to assess, Kosedna. Gets on his toes, moves back. Great footwork. Yeah, props. He's having fun out there. And uh, Jankovic just quite hasn't got this measured. Controlling the centre very well. Jankovic, right left combination. And he can take a shot, Kosedna. There's no doubt about his chin. Little repositioning. Little upsets. Just making the target a little harder to hit. Keeps the crosshairs active. Jankovic needs to get locked on. And they strike straight through the middle. And he tags him with the right hand again. Kosedna's taking shots here. There's no two ways about it, but uh, Jankovic not managed to land anything meaningful, but he's hitting big, throwing big. And he's picking them apart here. That's the thing. There's a big difference in hand speed. And when Jankovic can shuffle, we saw that little cut to the right or left, and he finds a way for the left hand. Again, it's been like two or three times that his rear hand has beat Kasednar's rear hand. And when they're in that kind of a position, he can never win that battle. And there's the shoot. Doesn't work well. It was a shame. Goes for the double leg takedown. Working off his back now. That's not good because this is where Kosedna lives. Those elbows, the forearm smashing, the ground and pound, and uh, just vicious work from Kosedna. Referee looking closely. In a bit of trouble, Jankovic. And covering up. Is he defending? 
He's being manhandled by Krasidna here. This is massive. This is exactly what Krasidna needed to be able to win this round. Piling it on. Referee steps in. It's a win for Krasidna. The ground and pound did it. It was fast and furious. After the first shots were fired. No doubt about it. So, Krasidna rushing up now to uh, celebrate with his fans. So, a win. Jankovic must drink from the bitter chalice that is a defeat. Four fight win streak comes to an abrupt end here tonight. Sedna celebrates, but uh, the record's 12 and 15. Now 13 and 15. So he's managed to balance the losses with the wins. And one has to ask, well, maybe we'll see that rubber match. Comes after three minutes and 40 seconds completely on the second round. Your winner by way of TKO in the red corner from Slovenia. Booyah! Selva Kosenda! We show your appreciation for our game runner up, Alexander Jankovic. Giving out the prize, Darko Stosic, offensive fighter extraordinaire. He'll be appearing at Belgrade. Your fight card and information, social media, etc. We'll have a date for that. We'll be coming from Medellin in Croatia for the next FNC, FNC 16. But uh, a win here tonight for Bojan Kusedna. Great performance, it was a good fight. And Alexander Jankovic outgunned tactically. Hvala, hvala. Verjem te, da je bila toliko teška borba, če ne bi bilo v Loblani, če ne bi bilo vas, bi najbrž zgubo vas je predal. Želo, jedva dišeš, sad jedva si na nogama, što pokazuje koliko je teško bilo. Čuo sam onaj tvoj intervju, kažeš da je ovo zapravo tek tvoj početak u FNC-u i da je očeš pojas, koliko si ozbiljan? Pa, jako sam ozbiljan, ja ne biram lake mečeve i to se vidi, ovo je život. Kaže, trilogija, U Beogradu, polako, polako, ne mogu da kažem da, uuu, jer me je namučio, uf. Znači ništa, ali htio bi nastupati definitivno dalje u FNC-u, a sada za Jankovića ćemo vidjeti. 
Ne, ba, dečko je vrh, naravno, ako Forgi, ako, ako FC misli da je sledeći meč, treći meč između mene i Jankovića, može. Gde je Forgi? 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 Ej, nije loše za 40 godišnjaka. Još slovenac. Dame i gospodo, želva, bojan, kosjedna!